Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of BGC Source. My name is Stephen McInerney and these are today's headlines. Nintendo suffers huge console leak and a fully functioning PC port of Super Mario 64 has been released online. Hello and welcome back to another episode of BGC Source with all the big news from the games industry. I'm going to start initially with the reports that Nintendo has suffered a significant leak of information related to its legacy consoles. Now according to various sources, over 2 terabytes of data leaked online over the weekend related to classic Nintendo consoles such as N64, GameCube and Wii. The data is said to include internal documentation showing how the systems work and the development processes behind them. And even more significantly, the original source code for Nintendo 64, GameCube and Wii is said to be within the leaked data. The leak is said to originate from a server hack targeting Broadon, a company Nintendo had contracted to develop Wii hardware and software in the early 2000s. The data could, in theory, be used to create illegal clone hardware to run software and operate exactly like the original systems. The PC emulation community could also theoretically use the data to improve their software so that it imitates the original systems perfectly. However, since the leaked documentation has been illegally obtained, this would put them in murky territory. And you can see some of the primitive N64 test software contained in the leak in this video. However, a more interested gaming archivist is the suggestion that the full leak could contain early demos of N64 titles. Demo versions of various Pokemon titles have already appeared online, yet the full significance of the latest breach will only likely become apparent as more data appears online. BGC has reached out to Nintendo for comment. And in our final story of the day, and it's yet another Nintendo related story, a fully functioning PC port of Super Mario. Mario 64 has been released online. The fan made Mario 64 PC port was first shared on social media sites around the same time. The port has been in development for at least 6 months and was made possible by a 2019 recompilation project which saw fans reverse engineer the game's source code. And unlike PC emulators which imitate the conditions of the original N64 game, the DirectX 12 powered port allows players to run Mario 64 at far higher resolutions without compromise, such as native 4K or in ultra widescreen mode. And it even supports third party software such as Reshade which can be used to add modern visual effects such as bloom lighting to the game. The native Mario 64 PC version should have significant repercussions for Mario 64's active mod community which have previously required an emulator for their projects. And as first revealed by VGC, an official Super Mario 64 remaster is coming to Nintendo Switch later this year to coincide with the mascot's 35th anniversary. Anyway guys, that's all we got time for today on VGC Source. Do let us know in the comments below what you make of today's headlines and make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Give this video a like, have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow tomorrow for another video.